Good afternoon, Dolly friends. My name is Gina. In front of you, you see my darling Rose. And she is here for, she is a Paradise Galleries doll. She's one of my manufactured dollies. Her uh, manufactured name from Paradise Galleries is Pumpkin Spice, but I have chosen to name her Rose. And it's Rose's choice as to what we do today. Well, Mommy, I would like a story today. And I would like to do that because I want to, to do the thing. Participate. Yes, uh, partisa, participate. Yes, participate with, with Auntie Patricia at Patricia's Dolly Dreams. And then I want a story. And, yeah, I want a story. Well, I'll have to check about a story. Oh, 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 I know a story. I know a story. You do, Clover. Yes, I know a story. I know a story about dark fairies. Well, if you know a story about dark fairies, then we can do Dolls Gone Goth with... Jay at J Dolls UK and Marna over at Dolls Rescue today. Well, let's do that then. Do you want to hear the story? Because there's dark fairies. I never heard of them. Well, most people don't really call them a dark fairy anymore. But I don't remember the exact story. I have to think a moment. Hmm, what is the story? How did the dark fairies get their name and where did they come from? Guys, if you want to hear this story and you like this content, be kind. And if you're interested, hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and possibly leave us a comment. Okay, so now perhaps on with the story. Let's see. Just one moment. Ah, Clover, there's witches near us. Yes, I know. But they know the story. I'm only a hundred years old. And these... Witches are much older than me, and I think they should be the ones to tell you the story about dark fairies. Well, this is the story of how some fairies became dark and why they changed their names to witches and how they flew around. Yes, you see my broom. We fly around on brooms. Well, what happened? Well, we shall find out. Once upon a time, over a thousand years ago, all the fairies lived together in a place called Fairyland. One day, humans showed up. And the fairies were curious and wanted to be good to the humans. So they flipped it around with their beautiful wings and showed the humans where good honey and berries were to eat. They showed them the river where they could get clean, good, clean water to drink and to bathe. Most of the humans were very grateful and thanked the fairies, and then went on their way. But some of the humans were unkind, and they stole the fairies themselves. They kidnapped them from their homes, and they captured them, placing them in jars and treasure chests, keeping them trapped to be their servants. 
some of the fairies became extremely anger, angry. And they began to cast spells on any human they saw. Now part of the fairy said we must simply stay hidden and no longer show ourselves to humans. That is why fairies are so rare and generally are never seen by adults and only children. Part of the group wanted to keep the humans fearful of them and punish the humans, but others did not. So the fairies split into two groups. Some of them stayed near fairyland and to stay hot hidden from the humans, they gave the name of their new home, Pixie Hollow. Others scattered and all across the world, all others scattered all across the world and some became very dark and changed their name to witches. The humans greatly feared the witch and no one knows where witches live. Some might be in old castles. Others might be close by. And that, and that is why the witches, the dark fair, that is why the dark fairies change their names to witch and how they flew around. So that is the story of how fairies became dark and why some of them are now seen as witches. And they no longer, we fly with our broomsticks. We don't fly around with wings. We don't want people to know that we are fairies. No, we don't. So girls, what do you think of that story? Well, that story was a little scary, but it explains why there's different types of fairies generally. A fairy only becomes dark when harm has come to her. But be sure not to cross us, and we can still be your friend. Well, the end. So how did you like that story, Rose? It was a good story, but it was a little scary. I don't think I would ever want to have any dark fairies come around. I think I will just stick to the type more like Clover. The, the witches, well, they're a little scary to me. I know. But why do witches have black cats? Oh, I know that one. I can tell you about that. See, when the, when the fairies split rows, some of the, um, some of the humans captured their pets too and they took a lot of the black kitties and so that's why and and then the dark group took a lot of our kitties because we have all kinds of kitties and doggies and donkeys and bunnies and all kinds of things and squirrels and birds and but some of the dark group they they took the black kitties because they thought they could stay hidden more from the humans and they wouldn't get hurt no, that's why. Oh, well, that's a good answer. Well, bye for now, friends. We hope you enjoyed our story. Bye-bye.